What's up, guys? It's your boy TGK here, and um, we're scanning everything. And the homegirl over here is not helping. And poor Regal's doing this all by himself. But this is going so well that he's gonna make a vlog because tomorrow we are jumping in the river. What's up guys? You're probably thinking the same thing I'm thinking. Where the hell is an upload bin from TGK TV? I think it's been over a week, to say the least. And uh, basically I've been on a small little vacation. So let me show you a little montage of what I've been doing or trying to do. All right, so I haven't done much vlogging on this trip because half the time I'm organizing shit and arguing. the other time I'm arguing. So, but right now, we're going to this thing called Barn Springs Green Belt and somebody tripping over here. And so like, let y'all see what it looks like. Damn, all these mosquitoes. So apparently there's a nice natural pool at the end of this creek. I've damn near been on every single type of natural pool river in Austin. I haven't been to this one. So let's go. This is the twins, Twin Falls part, but nothing in there. So we can go to the next area where the water is at. It looks pretty dope. Let me cut in for a second. So basically when I went to Austin over the weekend, last weekend, uh, we hit the Kamal River, we hit the Guadalupe River, we hit Barton Springs Greenbelt and the Barton Springs Pool. We were trying to hit the Hamilton Pool and the Jacobs Well, but uh, apparently you had to reserve a spot for those. Uh, but I didn't get any footage of any of the rivers because I'm not going to risk my phone. I shoot everything through the phone. And, and you'll notice my uh, vlogging skills are pretty trash, but this is the best I could do. All right, update as I'm going through the jungle of Austin, Texas. 20 minutes, huh? like 15 minutes in. Heart rate at like a 120. No signs of water yet. And he over here carrying a backpack and a duffel bag. Looking like he about to do something bad. So we're walking up the Mount Bonnell, Bonnell. I'm already 20 steps in, I'm already tired. You can zoom in, don't worry, hurry up, start the corner. Yeah. You wanna see my piece? Obviously not. All right, so what am I doing now? Basically, since I've been on vacation, I've been working out like crazy. Uh, I guess I'll get into some of my personal information, but before this vacation started, I think August 2nd, uh, or before that, the week before that, I weighed in at like 294, 294 pounds. 
And since then, I've just changed the diet, been working out like crazy every single day. And currently, right now, I'm at 281 in just, just a little over two weeks. So just trying to get down to like the 230, 225 range, hopefully. And, and then we'll see how, how it looks then. But um, I do want to share some of my opinions on the current Cowboys topics. I think the uh, Ezekiel Elliott, Dak Prescott, and Amari Cooper contract talk is basically beating a dead horse at this point. It is overkill for everyone that's talking about it. I know I've made like two, three videos on it, and I'm just no longer going to make any more videos on it until something happens, until the contracts come out to play. And it's just, it's overkill. I don't want to, I hate talking about the same stuff over and over. Now, the Zach Martin injury scare, that was scary, but it lets you know how fragile football is. One player can go out and almost ruin an entire season. And Zach Martin is extremely, extremely important to the Dallas Cowboys. And I feel that the Cowboys and Cowboys fans should be happy that we have an entire offensive line that is still intact and that has the upside that it has, especially with Travis Frederick coming back. But I was scared as hell when I heard about the Zach Martin news. Now, let me talk about the Robert Quinn news where he uh, fractured his hand. And then a couple of days later, he's been suspended for the first two games of the season. I think it, besides fracturing the hand, I think those things kind of happen when you're playing football. Um, but as far as the suspension, when you read into it, it, it's just more of Roger Goodell and, and the NFL coming after the Cowboys and just looking to suspend players. It, it's embarrassing sometimes as a Cowboys fan because you're like, God damn, you know, enough of suspending our players. But you feel for Robert Quinn, especially if you read his report. If you read the uh, statement from Robert Quinn's uh, agent, it, it, de it, it goes into detail as far as Robert Quinn's situation and and I think the, the NFL just kind of said, who gives a damn? We're still going to suspend you because you have this little finite amount of, you know, drug in you that is normally used to mask steroids. And it's it just dumb. It's dumb. And, and again, it just you look at the plethora of players that's been suspended by Roger Goodell on the Dallas Cowboys, especially the defensive line. And it just adds more ammunition or more fuel to the fire uh, to for these talking heads like Stephen A to continuously make fun of the Dallas Cowboys. However, it's two games. Randy Gregory might be reinstated soon. Like I've said it earlier in the year, people call me crazy for that, but two games, I think this defense will do well without Robert Quinn for two games. And um, Randy Gregory, you never know. We could probably get him back at the start of the year. Who knows? But I think the Cowboys do have a chance to win the first two games. It's the Giants and the Redskins for crying out loud. Other than that, guys, I'm, I'm basically working out every day as much as I can, trying to get like 10 miles in. I'm going to show you little stats of my two, my last two days. It's been crazy, crazy workouts. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to make this in the fitness channel. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to do all that. But just uh, giving you an update, this is what I've been doing. But as far as getting back on a grind, as far as the videos are concerned, I'm back into it. We're going to get that started, especially tomorrow. We'll probably kick off some more skits or some more Cowboys talk, Mavericks talk, whatever y'all want to talk about. Leave some comments below. I'm going to read them. I engage with everybody on the channel. And until then, guys, I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. guys right now it's a Tuesday no Wednesday past midnight and we're at a the Windstar Casino here in Oklahoma let's get it going now I'm about to show y'all how to lose money we're gonna go in here cheap style with $60 and we're gonna see what we leave with <laughs> 